What's poppin'? It's your boy Billy Cash back in the building with another episode of Social Climate. You know what I'm talking about? And I want to give a special shout out to Baby Bone 601 and Sharon Lofton, the first socialites to check in, gang gang. And on this episode right here, oh man, we talking about racial profiling. Yeah, it's still around. It still exists. You know what I mean? But this is near and dear to my heart because it's one of my favorite stores, Old Navy. You know what I mean? But to quote the great movie, Minister Society, Old Navy, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. Social climbing. Let's get it. This podcast is brought to you by niggas who are generally concerned with most of the dumb shit that's going on right now. By the way, I'm your host, Billy Cash, a.k.a. Cole, and welcome to Social Climbing. Yeah. Socialites, let me tell you who you're looking at. You're looking at James Conley III. Upon entering a Old Navy in West Des Moines, Iowa, located at Jordan Creek Town and Center, he noticed that he was being followed by store employees and management because of the jacket that he had on. Now, it wasn't common knowledge then, but it's common knowledge now that him and his family love to shop at Old Navy. So the store representatives at Old Navy thought that he had stole the jacket, put it on. And I guess that he was going to walk out the store. But he noticed it. And what do we do in 2018? Turn on our phones. He turned on his phone and he Facebook live the whole situation. Smart man. Now, we're going to look at some video on this. And I'm coming back. Social climb. I feel like I'm really being stereotyped as a black man. Um, and I shouldn't be. Um, if you guys have surveillance camera or tape that you can go look at, um, can you please go do that? Tonight, Old Navy is in damage control mode in response to a now viral video that appears to show employees racially profiling a man at the company's West Des Moines store. In an interview you'll only see on KCCI, James Conley III says he was accused of stealing his own jacket because he's black. So what rights do shoppers have in these unfortunate situations? Chris Gothner spoke with the Des Moines civil rights attorney to find out. He joins us live outside the Jordan Creek Town Center in West Des Moines with the story. Chris. Yeah, Shana, that attorney says this video is a perfect example of what not to do as a store and what a customer who feels wronged should do. It's the video going viral online. Literally just got stereotyped because of the color of my skin. James Conley III says he was racially discriminated against at a West Des Moines Old Navy store on Tuesday. That I stole my jacket that I came on with. Conley says surveillance video cleared him, but he didn't get an apology. KCCI spoke exclusively with Conley Wednesday. I feel like, you know, being an African-American man, like you should be able to go shopping or anybody. She better go shopping without, you know, being racially profiled. The store was closed Wednesday and Conley now has an attorney. Des Moines civil rights attorney Thomas Newkirk, who's not involved in the case, says he's shocked by the video. They um, required that he go through a bunch of hoops to prove he was innocent. Newkirk says everyone has the right to service at businesses regardless of their race. He says Conley has a strong case for legal action and monetary damages. He has what's called a denial of service case. Um, he could file a claim with the Iowa Civil Rights Act. Likening this case to the blatant racism black Americans experienced in the Jim Crow era. You're denied service in the same way as if they put a sign up that said whites only. He says Conley did exactly what anyone in this situation should have. In this day and age, you can document it on a video, uh, on a camera. He did that. He, he did it respectfully. Um, he kept his temper. Um, he did everything he should do. And then see that. Now, Newkirk says Conley would have legally been within his rights to just walk out. But, of course, that is much easier said than done in this type of situation. He says Old Navy should look to change its policies as well as retrain its employees. We're live tonight in West Des Moines. Chris Goffner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And Old Navy did release a statement today saying in part that the company maintains a zero means zero policy and is actively investigating the situation. The statement goes on to say we are a company made up of diverse people from all backgrounds and cultures. We encourage diversity in thought, celebrate diversity in each other and demand tolerance and inclusion always. Wow. And I have breaking news. James Conley III is going to file a civil rights complaint against Old Navy, then a civil rights lawsuit. Rumble, black man, rumble. You know what I'm talking about, fam? Look, I hope that he sues the pants out of these people because we ain't got time for this shit no more. As always, I'm Billy Cash. B
Be careful and stay prayerful. Social climate. Click like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Yeah.